How's it going? Jake with Bond Performance. Uh, just gonna show you guys a quick installation video of my fume dog wall mounted fume extractor. Show you it over here. So this is their wall mounted unit. It's a 1200 CFM. I've got the optional 10 foot long eight inch tube. Uh, it comes standard with a seven foot, but kind of splitting the difference between my fixturing table and some weld fixtures and a grinding area I use pretty often over here. So I'll be able to hit that from this central location. This thing comes with four mounting points mounted 16 inches on center. For those of you guys that have more of a conventional build, obviously you'd want to spread that load out, but nice nominal dimension there. Another thing to note, this thing's pretty heavy. So I rented this, uh, they call it a 12 foot contractor lift or a manual contractor lift. So that should come in handy getting it up there. And uh, if you guys are buying one of these, you're obviously skilled in some way in fabrication. So building a bracket won't be an issue for you, but just to kind of get your gears turning, this is what I came up with out of the scrap bin piece of 3 16 C channel with some angle weld on the inside to catch bolts going through the two by two steel tubes of my shop. And then the 16 inch on the center, I've added some standoff, clear my siding. And I would be mounting this a little bit higher than average. Uh, Fume Dog sells a floor a floor mounted wall mount so it just kind of secures to the wall but the weight is on the floor that's eight foot tall so i'll be um uh, about 10 feet to the top so not a huge difference uh once i get it set up better i'll measure it out and tell you exactly where it ends up but yeah pretty straightforward they've got another thing i didn't really see on their website I was kind of curious about was wiring. It actually has a nice heavy industrial switch in line and just a regular 110. Well, I guess I missed that earlier. Almost a regular 110 outlet to uh, make installation easy. I might just wire that right into a box because I'm planning on taking a dedicated 20 amp circuit over there and then continuing on with a second circuit in the same conduit over to some grinders i have over here so kind of two for one project today i'm not going to ramble on about it get this mounted up and show you guys what it looks like hanging on the wall so i got kind of cut short last night the wife had ordered food and i needed to go pick it up but here it is mounted secured got the fume arm all set up ready to drag around the shop and hit my fixture area and where i do most of my grinding it'll swing 360 degrees i did switch which side the filter was mounted on to better accommodate get into my weld table and I'll fire it up for you it's temporarily just switch the outlet over here but I do want to run a dedicated line I'm not going to do a weld test with it. The stainless and titanium I mostly work with doesn't put off a ton of visible fume, but the chromium poisoning potential is definitely a factor with that, hence the machine. So if you like the video, subscribe, like, all that stuff. And if you're interested in getting one of these for yourselves, I'll drop stainless machine engineering's website and direct email in the 
description of the video and he can help you out price wise just like he did with me ken is your contact there he's been selling machine shop equipment since 1992 so uh anything you need from komatsu stamping presses to fabrication equipment like this he can be your guy so thanks for watching jake with bond performance and check out these fume dogs So I got kind of cut short last night. The wife had ordered food and I needed to go pick it up. But here it is, mounted, secured. Got the fume arm all set up, ready to drag around the shop. And hit my fixture area and where I do most of my grinding. It'll swing 360 degrees. I did switch which side the filter was mounted on to better accommodate get into my weld table and I'll fire it up for you it's temporarily just switched the outlet over here but I do want to run a dedicated line I'm not going to do a weld test with it. The stainless and titanium I mostly work with doesn't put off a ton of visible fume, but the chromium poisoning potential is definitely a factor with that, hence the machine. So if you like the video, subscribe, like, all that stuff. And if you're interested in getting one of these for yourselves, I'll drop Stainless Machine Engineering's website and direct email in the description of the video and he can help you out price wise just like he did with me ken is your contact there he's been selling machine shop equipment since 1992 so uh anything you need from komatsu stamping presses to fabrication equipment like this he can be your guy so thanks for watching jake with bond performance and check out these fume dogs